The Eyes Behind the Lighthouses. Not all of my poems have a story behind them, but many of them do. Some of them make more sense if you know the stories behind them, while with others it's just nice to have the added context. I memorise my poetry and perform it at open mic nights, which means I usually get an opportunity to introduce them. It's harder to do that with a poetry collection, and at the same time as, as a writer, I want to give my readers the freedom to draw their own conclusions from the work I share. So that's why I'm publishing this in Scarlet Sins instead of as part of the collections. If you want to read the poems that this talks about, then you'll need to pick up copies of Eyes Like Lighthouses When the Boats Come Home and Kiss Kiss Death Death, which you should totally do. In fact, if you email me on dane at danecobain.com and say that you're reading Scarlet Sins, I can send you e-copies for free or offer a 20% discount on signed copies of the physical books. The poems in my collections are grouped together into sets, and so I'll run through the books and the sets in chronological order. I'm not going to mention all of the poems, just the ones with a story behind them. Here goes. Eyes like lighthouses when the boats come home. Anxious words. This entire set of poetry came about when I started writing a daily poem on my lunch breaks at work to deal with anxiety disorder, which is where the name comes from. This also comes across in some of the poems. Stanley's Nervous Breakdown is written using tweets from a guy called Stan who applied for a job at my old workplace. Univocalisms takes its name from its form. Each of the stanzas uses just a single vowel, i.e. her sex needs respect uses only E. Donald Trump's huge new erection is named after a headline about a building that Donald Trump was planning and it was written before it was announced that he'd run for president. And Ariva 800 850 was written during a five mile walk home from work after a bus didn't show up. Smoke and Mirrors This set takes its name from the fact that I switched my poetry sessions up so that I wrote on my cigarette breaks instead of on my lunch break. Stalin's takes its name from Wild Stalin's, the titular character's band in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Who is named after The Who and Chester is named after Chester Bennington of Linkin Park. The Illusion of Time takes its title from an old Super Nintendo game, although it's not actually about it. And the Viglio Grande is named after the canal in Milan where I wrote it. Pistols is about a concert that I went to by a band called Dub Pistols. Don't panic. This title is a nod to both Douglas Adams and my anxiety disorder. Anonymous' White Mask of Freedom is an epic poem that advocates for an open, unregulated internet, while Get F***ed Up with the Hooligans is about the horror hooligans from Forsaken, an imprint of Book Trope, my first publisher. Bonds is the name of a pub in the town that I grew up in, and the poem itself was written the day after spending the night there. Mick Foley is about the professional wrestler who retweeted it, and GE Day was written on the day of a general election. The Sentiment Suite This set of poems was created so I could ask people in the audience how their day was and then reply on the fly with the closest poem to their answer. That's why each poem has a descriptive one-word title like busy, boring, long and awesome. At the foot of the altar of knowledge... This is a relatively random collection of political poems and travel poetry from a visit to Amsterdam. Last Train Back to Brixton was written on the way to the airport, and Automatic Popo is about being woken up by armed anti-terror police. Blood Bike Day is about a charity campaign I worked on for a client in support of the National Association of Blood Bikes, an organisation which delivers blood, plasma, organs and other vital medical supplies in emergencies through a fleet of motorbikes and an army of volunteers. Broken Glass After Closing Time These poems are mostly about a time in my life when I was helping out at the local arts centre, which is where the title comes from. Living the Dream was written about a visit to the Second City Signings event in Birmingham. The words Melt on Your Tongue was written after someone challenged me to write a poem that included the word pistachio. Wolves and Foxes I don't believe in spirit animals, but if I did, then my spirit animal would be a wolf. This collection is home to a few of my favourites from the whole book, including Dying, which is all about anxiety. There's Only Her Between Them and The Flights of Your Darts are two different poems that are designed to be formed back to back. And then there's Food Pills, which is a true story about something that my dad used to say. Falling Through Time Variations on a sonnet is exactly what it sounds like, a spin on the popular form and a rare example of one of my poems which follows a form, albeit a bastardised form. Skeptics Don't Have Churches is based on a talk I heard at a local Skeptics in the pub event. Being a terrorist sympathiser is in response to some remarks from David Cameron about people who oppose plans to bomb Syria. Kiss Kiss Death Death took its name from something that someone said at an open mic night and it would go on to become the title of my second collection. Found This set is based entirely on an album by Paul Armfield called Found, which itself is based on a collection of second-hand photographs that he collected from Berlin flea markets. Each of the songs on the album is based on a photograph, and each of the poems in Found is based on Armfield's lyrics. The poems also take the titles of Armfield's songs. Kiss Kiss Death Death Drowning in Fire The first poem in this set, No Pressure, is about the existential crisis a poet faces after they publish their first collection and need to start thinking about the next one. Ayahuasca is a hallucinatory drug that I've never had the pleasure of trying and I wrote the poem after a documentary spree. 
His brother's beard is about Ant and Ali Lightfoot, who have magnificent beards. When I Rule the World is about a former colleague called Marie Anne Leonard, who had a list of people that she'd execute if she was supreme ruler of the world. Vanta Black used to be the blackest black, but it had already been superseded by an even blacker black by the time that the poem was published. Echoes Reflections Don't Flop is named after the YouTube channel that uploads performances from underground rappers, and the EDL is about the time that racists from the English Defence League flooded High Wycombe to protest the fact that we have a large Muslim population. I marched against them on the counter-protest and wrote the poem on my phone while I was there. Beacons was an entry into a poetry competition for Beacon Festival in Beaconsfield. It didn't win. Bad news for philosophers. This is my favourite set in the book because it covers so much that's personal to me. Why I'm Like a Vampire is exactly what it sounds like while Fear is an anxiety poem. Good God was initially written for a blogger who provided me with some of the words that I used in the poem and the days eat their tails like a starving snake and Monday are both about the inevitable passage of time. Find Your Roar was written at Sunday Assembly High Wycombe as part of my role as poet in residence and Never Trust a Train Driver and Sketches are both old poems, circa 2010, that I resurrected because I thought they still had some potential. Struggling to breathe on West End Street. The title of this set takes its name from the street that I lived on while I was writing it. From the Mouth of a Cat was written about an ex-girlfriend's mum's cat, Cookie, and not about my own cat, Biggie. That poem comes in the next set. The National Arboretum was written at the National Memorial Arboretum in Litchfield, not far from where I grew up. The rest are self-explanatory. Tenuous, but culturally relevant. The title here was overheard in a group conversation on WhatsApp and felt like it could apply to my poetry. Reading in Reading was written when I made a guest appearance at Sunday Assembly Reading. Auto Suggest was written by starting a sentence and then hitting the middle option on Auto Suggest on my phone until it was finished. Many of the rest of the poems are about moving into a full time freelance role as it was written when I transitioned from full time employment to becoming my own boss. Dining in Hell at the Devil's Right Hand. The day after a terror attack was written the day after the Manchester Arena attack and was my way of making sense of it all. Flash was inspired by a collection of flash fiction that I was working on, and Vino Venitas was written for a YouTube collaboration and is named after the poet that I worked with. Bang is a meta poem, a poem about a poem that pokes fun at my own style of poetry. Cognitive Behavioural Therapy Written during a period of high depression and anxiety in which I was using cognitive behavioural therapy to manage my symptoms, the poems in this section were written over the space of a year or so. To display help, press the question mark button is another live poem from an event where the projector wasn't working, and Falcon Heavy was inspired by Elon Musk and his attempts to commercialise spaceflight. Burning Bridges this set got its name because I realised that I inadvertently burn bridges by losing touch with people. I suppose it's something that happens to everyone. That concept led to poems like Being the Best You Can Be and The Truth, as well as a few other bonuses like Delirium Tremens about the booze shakes and Always Zinc, which is one of those fairly stereotypical A to Z poems that you see all over the place. Not everything has to be innovative. Hiding from the Light this title comes quite literally from what I spend my time doing. I'm mostly nocturnal and often spend the daytime sleeping. It includes my most recent poems, including a few on the theme of veganism and one called What a Privilege that I wrote after a long period with no new poems. Critics explains why that was, although it's an older poem. Sometimes I write things that later become even truer than they were when I first put pen to paper. 